I'm tripping, bro. Chill out. I'm over here eating a motherfucking burger at 11 p.m. at night. You know, from Wendy's, the little Krabby Patty shit. Yo, Vic, chill out, Vic. I know, 11 p.m. I'm bugging, bro. I ain't supposed to be eating this shit. Listen, that little Krabby Patty shit, all I got was the burger and I got the drink. I skipped the fries. The burger's cool. I fuck with the burger, you know? As far as the drink, though, the drink was cool, bro. It was like a little vanilla. It was like a little vanilla with that little pineapple syrup and shit. I ain't getting that shit again, though. November's around the corner. I got to start hitting the gym and shit, bro. I got to get in shape. I'm tripping. And I need a haircut? Come on, bro. But life is good. No complaints. All glory be to God. How J. Cole just made the Kendrick and Drake beef more complicated. Let's get it, bro. Now, right now with J. Cole. After months of initial confusion Talk when he to backed me, out fantastic of the beat and apologized to Kendrick Lamar, back in with that another speculation, one. which was seemingly this telling us that after being subbed and jabbed at over and over again by Drake through both his major diss tracks in various lines and through petty posts on social media, that the duo who was just on Give tour together alone, and made bro. a hit. Hold on, hold on, bring that back. Now, right now with J. Cole. After months of initial confusion when he backed out of the beef and apologized to Kendrick Lamar, and then speculation, Fucking which was seemingly bang, telling yeah. us that after being subbed and jabbed at over and over again by Drake through both his major diss tracks in various lines and through petty posts on social media, that the duo who was just on tour together and made a hit song. I just reacted to the poor Antonio shit. Come on, like bro. Like first person shooter, we're no longer on good terms. After the entire hip hop world has been trying to figure out where exactly Cole stands after a feud where no matter how you spin it, he was right in the middle of. Cole has finally given us the answers that we have been searching so hard to find out with his new track, Port Antonio. And now first off Talk with this song, me. before we get into what Cole has said and what this all means for him in hip hop. I think it's great that unlike most other rappers in this feud who were caught up in the cross of it and just have left confusing hints out to fans to figure out where they really- Hold on. Can y'all hear me too right now? Yo, bro. I hope y'all can't hear me too. I hate hearing niggas too. I know if I hate hearing niggas too, I know motherfuckers out there hate hearing motherfuckers too, bro. Come on. My fault, bro. Really stand and how they feel. J. Cole has now actually and I told us where his mind was water. at when he made one of the most polarizing and shocking decisions in rap beef and really all of hip hop history. And now with this song, in its entirety, it functions as an intimate track where after so much noise and chaos in hip hop, we are facing J. Cole's most personal and reflective thoughts and the somber beat on this cut only reflects this idea. And so now with the perfect musical canvas to tell us some of the most coveted and sought after information in all of rap right now, Cole gets to work on this track and after he shows off his lyrical skill on the first verse, Things take a much more serious turn on the Here second. Yeah, go burping this shit, bro. Come on. The current state of hip hop and the culture, and as he talks about how he doesn't approve of where this new generation is headed in the genre, he begins to address the entire controversy surrounding him and rap's greatest beef of the century. As he says, "I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about to go." <laughs> Which now, initially, with this bar off rip, this seems to confirm the story that Schoolboy Q came and told J. Cole himself that things with Kendrick and Drake were going to go in a way that was way more serious than just exchanging bars for the sport the of word, it. That was in the Q? context of everything we now understand, Shout out the there Q. is no other way that J. Cole would have this intuition to back out if just days before coming to this conclusion, he was releasing a full-on diss track to Kendrick. So at least with this bar off rip, we seem to have a definitive reasoning to why Cole decided to back out as those pieces are put together, and from here, Cole goes into greater detail about this decision and his choice as he talks about the Kendrick and Drake situation saying, They wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. They see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. Ooh. Wouldn't have lost a battle, dog. I would have lost a bro. I would have gained a foe. And now here. Cole is telling us with the stakes of this beef being so much higher than we could have ever imagined. But that's crazy, though. It's like, I wouldn't have lost the battle, dog. I would have lost the bro. I would have gained the foe. Bro, the way that Drake was moving, even though you didn't participate in the battle, the way Drake was moving because you backed out, because you fell back and decided to not participate, is like as if you lost the bro. It's like as if you damn near ganked a foe. Because he was talking crazy, bro. Dissing you on this fence stand shit. Come on. You damn near lost one. 
So it's like if you participated, you would have lost one. You didn't participate, you damn near lost one. Come on, bro. And motherfuckers talking about some Cole was a real one, giving Drake his flowers and shit like that. Listen, I ain't got no problems with that. But Cole just... Come on, bro. If, if niggas is low-key taking shots at you, I understand that Drake did a lot for you. And he, you know, he did whatever he did for you. That's cool. I'm not saying you got to diss him. But at the same time, if niggas is looking at you some type of way, why the fuck do you got to be the one that got to be on some bitch-ass shit? Why the fuck do you have to be the more mature one? Like, I don't give a fuck about all of that mature shit, bro. I don't. Especially when niggas is the one that wasn't really holding the relationship that y'all have. They, he clearly ain't care about it. He ain't care about it. If he was still taking shots at you because you backed out. Come on, bro. Like, I don't care, bro. I don't care how much shit a nigga done did for me. If he's taking shots at me, that ain't my bro. That ain't my bro. Your man ain't supposed to be taking shots at you. Battle dog, I would have lost a bro, I would have gained a foe. And now here, Cole is telling us with the stakes of this beef being so much higher than we could have ever imagined, he realized that joining in was ultimately going to end up making him a full-on enemy to Kendrick Lamar for good, who he expresses that he has love for in these bars. Although it's strange that while he is saying things like these, he is still boasting that he would have won this battle, which we will get into later, and adding some much needed content. You see, it's like shit like that boasting that you wouldn't, that you would have won the battle. It's like at this point, don't even speak on it, bro. Like you can't speak like that. You can't talk like that. It's okay for you to believe that, but keep that shit in your thoughts, cause the shit passed and you ain't participate for whatever reason. You ain't participate, and now we'll never know context to all of this cole explains why he didn't engage even more as he says and all for what just to attain some more props from strangers that don't got a clue what i've been aiming for which regardless of how we criticize cole for backing out and how this may affect his actual rap legacy as a person i think you have to respect him for standing on his own morals and principles regardless of what others may think and now bringing this picture full circle cole lets everything yeah but it's like what have you been aiming for because before the beef started, you was talking all this shit. Saying niggas don't want this. Niggas don't want this problem. Niggas don't want to see me in the booth. Niggas don't want this smoke. I, I shit like that. I'm the king. Niggas can't keep up with me lyrically. None of that shit. And then when the opportunity, opportunity presents itself, you back out. For whatever reason, it's cool. But the opportunity still presented itself and you backed out. Put the reasoning to the side. You backed out when the opportunity presented itself. When you was just coming off of like for mad years talking all this shit. And niggas never came at you. So it's like we never seen it. We we just allowed you to talk your shit because it's like you at the end of the day, you J. Cole. But when the shit came, you ain't do nothing. So it's like, how much weight does that shit really hold? Like, it, 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 it's like you picking and choosing. It's like for some niggas you gonna have that energy for, but towards other niggas you not gonna have that energy for. Come on, bro. Come on. You could watch my J. Cole videos. You see the background. Top two favorite rapper of all time. Sometimes he's number one. It switches between him and Kendrick. It depends on what's going on currently. But come on, bro. Just because... You know, just because I'm a fan of somebody don't mean I can't critique them. Don't mean that every single fucking thing that they do or drop, I'm just supposed to, like, be a fan of or agree with. No, bro. You know, you be doing bullshit, bro. That was some bullshit. Thing else out with Can't some of the most like important that bars of the year as Can't. right from the perspective of the guy you. who was in the middle of this thing he weighs in on everything that went down between this entire trio of him kendrick and drake by saying i understand the thirst of being first that made him both swing protecting legacy so lines got crossed perhaps regrettably my friends went to war i walked away with all they blood on me now, some will discredit me, try to wipe away my pedigree, but please find a person that's rapping this incredibly. 
And with these bars, Cole really lets us further into his mind than ever, as he breaks down this entire feud from his eyes and talks about the glory that was involved and ultimately fought for in this beef. And now, while most of this only reaffirms his points that this now you feud see me, went hold too on. Far, Everything I'm saying, it ain't to discredit Cole. I ain't discrediting his rapping ability at all. Trust. All I'm saying is when it comes to the who's the best battle rap, Niggas don't want to see me when it comes to my pen. That's all I'm referring to. You can't be talking like that no more. I don't want to hear that from him. Because it's like, come on, bro. Like, that. that's crazy. That's crazy. All these years, you was talking crazy. and that Cole was caught in the ugly middle of it all. What's interesting is that Cole is saying that Kendrick and Drake very well may regret some of the things they said about one another in this battle. And hey, now Kendrick don't regret this. shit. While I get from Cole's stance why he feels this way and why he would say this, I think this narrative that what went down between Kendrick and Drake got so out of hand and that this is something unprecedented for Rap Beef has been way overblown. As when we look at the grand lineage of rap beefs and even in very high profile ones like Jay-Z and Nas. In many instances, there were a lot worse things and a lot more obscene things said, and Cole should very well know this as he modeled his diss track 7 Minute Drill off a lot of what Jay-Z did to Nas on his track Takeover. But beyond what this reveals about what Cole thought about what went down, more importantly, to the core of this song, the current state of J. Cole's career, and all of hip-hop for that matter, Near the end of this track's second and final verse, he raps about the most complicated piece to this entire equation, because while his apology and bars have already shown that Cole still loves and respects Kendrick Lamar, from his feature run as of recent, which has been with all of Drake's biggest enemies, to Drake blatantly dissing Cole, we have been waiting to see what J. Cole truly has to say about what is going down between him and Drake once and for all. And now finally addressing this, Cole says, They say I'm picking sides, a you don't lie on me. To start another war, a Drake, you'll always be my. I ain't ashamed to say that you did a lot for me. F all the narratives. And now as Cole closes this verse out talking- Bro, why is it that white motherfuckers always find themselves doing hip-hop breakdowns? Why? Why is you doing it? And, like, why is it always... The majority be them, bro. Like, come on. Don't hop into some shit. If you can't even say... All right, bro. To start another war, a Drake, you'll always be my. I ain't ashamed to say that you did a lot for me. F all the narratives. And now, as Cole is giving fucking... What's this motherfucker's name? What's that motherfucker... What, what's that dude's name that did the... The Family Matters breakdown. What's the dirt is giving what's the dirt vibes, bro? Like, it's always them type shit. App really lies, and what his purpose on the mic is. He does end this track, which has finally told us so much in a powerful way, but with this said, as Cole is now saying that after all of the speculation and drama that he still loves Drake and that he will never not appreciate somebody who has been so integral to his career in various instances and eras. While I respect Cole on one hand for really showing and explaining on this track that he does not care about his rap legacy more than he cares about his actual humanity. And as an extension of that, it kind of makes sense why Cole is still welcoming Drake into his circle with open arms. I have to say that not even as a rapper, but just a person who clearly respects his peace, but also over everything himself to make tough decisions. I think letting Drake off the hook went off rip based on your decision to back out of this beef. He clowned you on some of the most important songs of the year and decided to take your character and depict you out to be a very weak man. Which is what I'm saying, bro. Like, how, why the fuck is you the only nigga that has to be on on this mature shit, bro. Like I understand it. Cool. I'm not. I'm not. You know. I understand it 100%. But, bro, the nigga was coming at you, bro. He was coming at you. Like, it, 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 is it to the point where like Drake is? at a level to where like you feel like you have to like be cool with him to where you feel like you can't beef with him type shit like why though why why do you feel that way like nigga you j fucking cole you don't need this nigga the fuck drake is up here cole is up here kendrick is up here Kendrick said, fuck this nigga. 
Who the fuck is this nigga? I don't need this nigga. Brought him down here. Kendrick and Cole still up here. Why the fuck does Cole... Why is Cole the only one who feels like he still needs this small fucker? Fucking soft ass shit, bro. Soft. It's that light skin ass shit, bro. Dead ass. J. Cole. Like I said, yeah, he did shit for him. Yeah, they always been cool. He done looked out for Cole and shit like that, but... Drake clearly doesn't cherish the relationship, you know, like that. If the nigga dissing you on songs, making posts about you, subliminals and shit. What the fuck? Why the fuck you gotta be the one to still cherish that? Like, what the fuck? For what? Because the nigga gave you a watch? Jay Cole was light skin of the year, bro. This shit is crazy needs to understand that you don't have to be friends with everyone and that while you don't have to go all out and dish drake if that's not the way you move we understand that i think the fact that he is letting drake just get a pass for disrespecting him over and over again since this summer is just too generous to drake and now maybe Cole's way right too here. generous drake will apologize to him and this will all make things better but at this point as Drake seems to be only getting more bitter and bitter about the outcomes of things and really deep down inside. Seems like he resents J. Cole in a way for exiting this thing and leaving him in a 1v1 against Kendrick Lamar. While I think it's great that J. Cole became the first rapper after this beef to just give us a song where he is straight up telling us how he feels and is giving us the answers we have been waiting to see. I think like I don't like I don't get how old he is. You gonna be you gonna have the type of energy that you have, and then when the smoke comes to you. Now you want to be on some peaceful shit. You was not on none of this peaceful shit all these years when you was talking your shit. Now when it's at your doorstep, you want some peaceful shit? You protecting your energy? Look at how the fuck you was... Look how you been talking all these years. It's like you was bringing that energy towards you. And when it comes now, you just the most peaceful motherfucker in the world. Now you just trying to protect your energy. Now you're not trying to be on that type of timing. But that's the type of shit that you've been putting out. And I ain't bashing Cole. I'm just saying, I'm just saying shit how it is, how I see it. The same with Drake. When it comes to these videos, it's not like I want to bash Drake and shit. I'm only saying that shit I be saying because of the way that nigga been carrying himself, the way he's been going about shit, the way he's been handling the whole situation, the whole battle from the jump, posting mad shit on IG, wanna be just doing mad fucking dumb shit, bro. While Kendrick is the only one that literally has been focusing on nothing but the music. He ain't been posting stories, none of that. Just all about the music. And now Cole's first response to the whole situation. He still want to be praising this nigga. Like, bro, get the fuck out of here, bro. Song also exposes the problems I still have with Cole with as an MC. Which is that he will show us or say one thing. And then tell us another. And then act like we are the ones who are crazy. Because with this situation with Drake. Beyond now, how Cole is putting his foot on it here. Are we supposed to believe that Cole teaming up with Future, Metro Boomin, ASAP Rocky, and Kendrick Lamar affiliates was all a coincidence? Because from the... The songs he is clear to even his lyrics all throughout his career in recent years, which have told us that he will destroy any rapper if they ever test or even disrespect his name. It exactly. And just like the ASAP feat, all the features that he just mentioned, my reaction yesterday when Cole said in that song, they say I'm picking sides, don't lie on me, my nigga. What I said? Nigga, you picked the side. Future, ASAP Rocky, Daylight, you doing features like you... Alright, let's just say, because you know, the Daylight song may have came out around the Mike Delete Later time, because you know, he had a song on the project with Abso. So let's just say that song was recorded a while ago. Let's say the Future song was recorded a while ago. A while ago. Let's say the ASAP Rocky song was recorded a while ago. J. Cole still had to give the okay. He still had to clear that shit for it to even be released. So the fact that you cleared it and you allowed those 
particular verses to come out. This ain't no T Grizzly, you know? You ain't make a song with niggas like T Grizzly. T Grizzly is the only feature that you done been on that had that wasn't like associated with anything. Future, ASAP, and they like, come on, bruh. You damn near picked the side. Hold on, bro. Is Cole slow a little bit? Like, like I don't know this motherfucker, bro. Is, is he like, like, how is he for real? Like, how? Like, bro, some, like, listen, sometimes you got to separate the person from the artist. The way a motherfucker raps in front of a mic, the, 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 the type of mentality that they tap into when they're writing and recording, like, just on some rapper shit. Is be completely different than their mentality in their everyday life. Like in reality, just them as a human. The way their brain, you know, generally operates. It could be two completely different things. Is this nigga cold like a like like how the fuck does he It's something, bro. It's something. Cause ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way you're just that oblivious. Like you don't see like, you dropping these features, but then you saying shit like, you don't say I picked a side, don't lie on me, because I didn't pick a side. If you really didn't pick a side, you would have been dropping with 21. You would have been dropping with whoever the fuck Drake has been cool with this entire time. It is strange and weakens the value of what he is saying from the perspective purely of the music, as Cole is just inconsistent with the messaging and signals he delivers, but regardless Word. of this rap-related criticism. Despite how confusing Cole can be, even on this song, because his points seem to contradict one another, and while he's saying that he does not want to be involved with beef, he still tiptoes around the idea and throws out subliminals that he could go with any rapper toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Which, at the end of the day, in terms of this being a message to the rap world, makes a lot of this feel weird, because while J. Cole is trying to choose peace, he is still coming at and trying to aggravate his opponents. Regardless of my criticisms with this track as a statement to hip-hop and on the rap world. At the end of this all, I gotta hand it to J. Cole for being brave enough to speak his mind directly in a time where every other rapper is just leaving faint clues about how they feel and where they stand in this beef. And now going forward, I'm sure with Cole releasing such a massive and important track into the rap world, from Kendrick Lamar to Drake to everybody else, I am sure this moment will only cause more rappers to respond accordingly. So now with all this said, let me know. What do you think of J. Cole's new song, and are you happy with the truth he has given us, or do you think he may be trying to backtrack or not stick to his actions in full when it comes to something like what we have seen between him and Drake? Now, I can't wait to hear what you have to say. And now, if you want to see how Kendrick Lamar just humiliated Drake in yet another way as he took another record away from him, check out the suggested video. You see, Kendrick is the only motherfucker that... It's like Kendrick is the only one that just sees through the bullshit, bro. He sees through the bullshit. He don't give a fuck about shit. He's confident in who he is, in his art, in his writing ability, and whatever the case may be. He don't give a fuck about none of that shit, bro. He will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any one of you niggas. And notice how Cole ain't even say his name. Nigga over here, he said Drake's name. And then when they referred to talking about both of them, he talking about my friends. Oh, my friends is beefing. I caught in the, I got, I got both of their blood on me and shit. Why he ain't mentioned Dr Kendrick's name at all? At all. Drake is the only motherfucker that you had to make sure. Like, you mentioned that motherfucker's name, bruh. It's like you made it your duty to, like, get that message across. Just to clear the air with him specifically. Why? Come on, bro. This bitch ass shit is soft ass shit. I don't fuck with that, bro. I don't. I really don't. That's the end of this video right here. Like, comment, subscribe to me down below. What you want to see me react to next? Follow me on IG. The links is down below in the description. I'm going to see y'all in the next one, bro. I'm going to holla at y'all.